hi welcome back to my channel welcome to a what's in my bag video for this beautiful pink kate spade bag this has been my current carry so i thought hi time we do a what's in my bag for her and i'm just excited to be carrying a bag again and like going places again so there was a period there in 2020 when i wasn't really even using a purse like my car was my purse because i wasn't going inside anywhere but now we are vaccinated thank heavens and we are so excited to start living life again and living life with a beautiful purse <laughs> so i wanted to share this with you this is like i said kate spade i got this as a very lovely galentine's day present from a dear friend so i've been carrying this since february 13th <laughs> and i just love it i think it's a little smaller than you're used to me carrying um it's a perfect like everyday purse size for definitely most women but for me it's like a little on the smaller side which has been perfect because i don't i'm like trying to start carrying a little bit less you'll see exactly what i have in here um and this is just a good time to like not bring everything and the kitchen sink like we're still on limited um, places being open and places that we can go so this is what i'm carrying and it's very very doable so it has this lovely shoulder strap i am a shoulder strap girl i only ever carry purses by my shoulder this one is so cute because it's adjustable you can see it has like a really pretty design here for adjusting it i have it on the longest is that the longest that's not actually the longest surprisingly length um but it's just so pretty like this blush leather i love the detailing on this has this really pretty like kind of like sweetheart pocket in the back i'll take my phone out that's where i keep my phone which is the iphone xs max isn't it in a cute case it has this ring to use and it has like butterflies and roses and it's kind of iridescent <laughs> so i love this case um and it fits perfectly in this back pocket and i love that it has this little sweet pocket line to it so cute I also have, I dare say, the world's best hand sanitizer poof right here. <laughs> this is from Sold by Bath and Body Works, but my friend Michelle got it for me and I just immediately freaked out because it's so cute, little flamingo guy, I love it. And it just looks like a cute, fun, pink purse poof. But I have a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer in there in the Mai Tai scent, I think. And this purse has really pretty gold hardware, but my absolute favorite thing is the clasp detail it has the spade for the kate spade logo but then it has this heart that goes in and rotates and that's how it locks like how cute is that i love it so so much <laughs> so again spade and it goes into this heart which you rotate it upside down and it clasps clasps in there perfectly and then you can just rotate the heart and that holds it shut how cute I just, I want my favorite thing, like Kate Spade makes probably my favorite purses of all time. And my favorite thing about Kate Spade purses are those little like whimsical details that are just so charming. And they just add a little bit of loveliness to your day every time you undo your purse. Here is what's inside this beauty. It's got a really pretty like suede lining. As you can see, it opens up gorgeously. Like. <laughs> How much do we love a purse that opens so wide? Like no rummaging, no issues. Like you know how a lot of purses just open up like this? No baby. Woo, I love that. Although since it is a smaller, <laughs> slightly smaller purse for me, I can't overstock it too much, which is good. So it's not that hard to get everything out. Um, and of course we have some purse organization going on. So let me just take you through it. So first of all, we have one built-in pocket in this purse and I don't know if you can see but it has that same cute little sweetheart cut out on it I love the shape every little detail so charming and so in this built-in pocket which is like you know in my opinion the easiest access I have my lip color of the day I try to switch it out just after I get ready in the morning and just pop whatever I'm wearing into my purse if I remember um, so this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This has been a favorite go-to gloss. The shade for this one is Reef. So easy to apply. Like, I just, 
I can't come all out with like lipstick right now because of <laughs> I would take my mask off and I look like the Joker. So <laughs> lip glosses have been my friend. Lip balms have been my friend. This is a favorite go-to I always have. The Glossier Balm.com. This is in the birthday flavor. So how fun is that? But I really like it as just a universal balm. I use it for cuticles, I use it for my lips if they're really dry. I just love it, it comes in handy a lot, so. Birthday is my favorite flavor, but I'm getting the rose flavor next, so I'm excited for that. Then I also have a pack of tissues. I always have tissues with me, and that is all that fits in that inner pocket. So then we have these items that are loose. The first thing, actually this fell out, this is usually in that inner pocket too. This is just a hand cream and it is from Bath & Body Works and it is in the stress relief scent, which they say is eucalyptus and spearmint, but I have to tell you, it's like very masculine smelling. It smells like something I would love for my husband to wear, like, like a nice cologne. <laughs> so I guess it's stress relieving in that regard because it's just like, oh, this smells like a, a man, <laughs> but it doesn't really smell like how I want to smell. It doesn't really blend with my scent profile for the day. Yeah, oh my gosh, that smells so much like a cologne to me. So I'm not loving this as my purse lotion, but it was the perfect size and so convenient, so that's why it's in there. I still prefer a hand cream with SPF in it when I'm on the go, so I'm gonna have to replace that soon. I have my keys. They are in my beloved Louis Vuitton key play, and it just has these little separate hooks in it so that you can hang your keys individually. I have the key for my Mustang. I have the key for our Toyota. And then this one, I actually have a few keys on one hook. And that is because if I'm just walking my dog or going out to exercise, I just bring my apartment key and my building key. And I don't need like my car keys with me. So it's all very easy to take a key out. Like if I just want to give my husband the key to my car or something and it keeps it from scratching anything in my purse. The only problem is that the big modern car keys don't fit in this style of key pouch, which is such a shame. I wonder if they'll ever redesign it. Like old tiny car keys like my Mustang fits great, but if you have a modern car key, I mean, I just let mine hang out of the bottom like that. And then it also has a little card pocket back here. So this is my wallet because I haven't been doing cash. You know, in the old days, I liked to do um, a cash budget, but nowadays I do, I'm not gonna show my cards, but I have my driver's license, I have my health insurance card, and then I have the debit card for our bank account, and then I have a PayPal card. So instead of budgeting with cash, I know like what's in my PayPal account, and I will use that kind of like cash. Um, so I'll put like my grocery budget in there, my shopping budget, my Amazon budget, what have you. And then that way I can kind of just monitor that balance as opposed to like the whole bank account balance which is mixed in with like bills and other things. So budgeting in these days is a little more complicated but we're making it work. Um, but yeah, this is just, I love this key pouch from Louis Vuitton. Like when people ask what is a higher end thing that they could treat themselves to, I always say this, it's like one of the most affordable things. I use it every day. I just feel so luxurious with it. This one has the blush lining, so it's beautiful. And I don't know if you guys remember in old videos, but this button was getting really beat up <laughs> from being in my purse. And it comes with like a matte pink button and it just instantly gets scratched up. And I know people have told me that I could take it to the store and have it replaced, but I guess I kind of just realized I'm not the type of person to do that, even though this is an, an investment piece like all Louis is. Um, I just felt really awkward like bringing it to the store to get the button replaced. If it was like a bigger issue, I would, but I just felt like the new button would just scratch instantly. So anyway, a couple other people also gave me the tip to cover it with nail polish. And I very carefully taped this all off with like painter's tape and I painted over it with a blush nail polish and then I sealed it with a clear nail polish. I love it way more than the way it originally came now. <laughs> like, it looks so cute and glossy and I can just touch it up myself and that's the situation with my keys. Okay, then I have my sunglasses. They are in this super cute case from, this wants to fall over. Okay, 
the super cu cute case from the Dollar Tree last summer. Doesn't it have like kind of almost like a vintage aesthetic to that illustration? I love flamingos and palm trees, so this is so cute. Hopefully they'll bring these sunglasses cases back for the summer. And I have a pair of gorgeous Tom Ford shades. Ah, I love them so much. They have like that cat eye shape to them. And these were my dear friends and she got prescription sunglasses. So she bequeathed them to me and I am taking excellent care of them and babying them in case she ever wants them back. <laughs> but I just, I mean, Tom Ford can, can do no wrong. And these are so pretty and so fun to have that big cat eye shape. Like when I just put those on and head out the door, I feel like I can handle anything that comes at me today. <laughs> I also have my favorite grandma style coin purse. And since I'm not using a lot of cash, I just keep a few bucks in here. Like if I do need a tip or I don't know, a vending machine, like what still runs on cash. <laughs> and then I have change like for meters. Um, but yeah, that's, this doesn't get touched very much, but it's okay. Cause it's just so cute. And I keep that in there. I also have a hairbrush. This is a miniature wet brush and look who's on there. Our girl, Cindy. I think that's like her Christmas outfit or her winter outfit. I actually found this at the thrift store, new, still in the packaging. Sometimes they get like overflow product from Target or wherever. Um, so that's what the deal was with this, like 99 cents I think it was, or 50 cents, but super cute. And I only ever really use wet brushes on my hair because they detangle the best. Then we also have my travel pharmacy. We all know and love the travel pharmacy. It is this little pink case pillowcase that I got on Amazon forever ago and it has six compartments but you can remove the little dividers if you need a bigger spot so I have let's see these are some Tums this is all probably so expired because like I said I haven't had my purse in so long <laughs> um yeah I should probably freshen this up but I have Tums I have Dramamine because I get motion sickness and living in LA and being in constant traffic, it is not your friend if you get car sick. Like, if I have to take an Uber or a taxi and sit in the back seat, it's guaranteed to be miserable. So, I don't do that much these days, but when I do, I have to pop a couple of Dramamine. Um, these are actually the all natural formula, it's just ginger. So, that's not really good enough for me to fly on an airplane with, but it's good enough, hopefully, for me to be in an Uber with. <laughs> But if I'm going on roller coasters or airplanes, I need the heavier duty stuff, like the real Dramamine that puts you to sleep, unfortunately. So I should probably restock my motion sickness medi medication. Anyway, I also have Advil, but I have a little thing of like Pepto-Bismol Bismol tabs. And then I have a couple of these, I never know how to pronounce or spell this, Oscillococcinum? <laughs> I don't know. It's a homeopathic, remedy for flu-like symptoms. Um, I like to carry those around. So, oh, and then behind, this little thing comes out and back here I also have band-aids. If anybody in the party gets a blister, always like to have things and be prepared. And then the last thing in here is a pouch. So I always, always organize my purse into pouches. That was probably the most loose stuff I've had in my purse in a long time. And that's just because the, the way this is designed, it won't close if there's really like more than one pouch in here. So this is my main organizing pouch. I always use the pouches by the brand Glossier. So they make amazing skincare and makeup. And when you order anything, anything, I think this might be the cheapest thing on their site, actually, this balm.com that I use. Um, it will come in this pink pouch. You guys always ask me, so that's how you do it. You can go on their site and like click shop all, sort by price, lowest to highest. <laughs> I've done this before when I needed new pouches and I'll just get like one of the cheapest thing. I think it's the balm. Don't quote me on that, there might be other stuff now, but anyway, it, they have a million different sizes of these pouches. I have been a fan, so I have a very good stock of pouches over the years. <laughs> But they're perfect for purses because they hold their structure and they're skinny. So they can just slide in and out easily of whatever purse you have. They're somewhat clear so you can tell at a glance like, oh, there's my gum. But they're not so clear that like the guy across the room can tell at a glance, oh, there's her tampon. <laughs> like it's a little bit of privacy. It's pink. 
It's got this cute like faux bubble wrap. It's not like real bubble wrap, like it doesn't pop. Um, I just love it. I've been a fan of their, their pouches. Like you could probably go all the way back through my what's in my bag videos for like four years, probably. And I've been using these pouches, love them. So anyway, here I kind of have a catch all of things I might need on the road. This is another homeopathic remedy called cold calm. I like to have that with me just in case. I'm not making any medical claims on that. I also have some wet ones wipes here. These are antibacterial, always helpful to have. I have a pouch of my favorite gum. It's just Trident White and the peppermint scent, but I swear by the whitening. I really think after a cup of coffee or tea, it's like ding, it just brings out the whiteness in your teeth. I have this little cute, hard plastic mask case. So if I'm going anywhere and I realize I forgot my mask, I have a little mask in there and it keeps it from rolling around in my handbag. I have a pouch of emergency immune plus vitamin C. Listen, you guys, I'm not taking any chances with my immune system ever again. <laughs> so I carry all the things. I mean, I was carrying all those things since before the pandemic though, if you know what I mean. All right, this is, this is an old milk and honey classic. I always have this in my purse. It is a mirror that looks like playing cards. So cute. See, it's got like the little A on it, a, Ace of Hearts. And that way when you check your lipstick, it looks like you're checking your cards. And it's just so, so fun. Like I said, I like to have those little whimsical details. And I find that other people appreciate it too. Like it's a little conversation starter. This is by the brand Fred and they make really fun, charming things. I am sitting on my foot and it fell asleep. <laughs> okay, then I have a lip balm. So we all know that I live and swear by the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. It is so good. It's the only thing that just stays on my lips for a really long time, but it's expensive. So <laughs> I've been branching out trying to find a dupe. I have not found a dupe yet. But I got this one on Amazon. It's called Melum, Melum, I don't know. And it's very good, it's not as good. It doesn't stay on as long, but it does go on like really nice and rich and hydrating. I also have a little tiny to-go perfume. This is just the cutest perfume spray bottle, I think. I got it as a gift from a friend, but I think it was from Daiso, so Japanese dollar store, if you get to go there, it's a lovely place. Mm. And I have filled it up with a rose perfume, the Stella perfume, Stella McCartney. So nice. And I would like to get to the point where I have this little size of like, at least, I don't know, maybe my top five perfumes. And then whatever perfume I put on for the day, when I grab my lip color for the day, I can also grab my perfume that I'm wearing and take them both out the door with me and be able to freshen up on the go. And that'd be just such a a wonderful way to live life. <laughs> and I also have a cute little tiny floss, Coco Floss brand. And I have a cute little tiny nail glue um, because there's just nothing worse. Well, I'm sure there are worse things, but it's pretty awful when a nail pops off and you're in public and you're like, oh, don't look at, don't look at me. Um, this is just the nail glue that kind of came with static nails, although the nails that I'm wearing are marmalade brand. So I always have that. And that's it. Like you guys who know me, I'm traveling light. <laughs> kind of, kind of impressed with myself. I kind of feel like a new woman, like so free, just foot loose and fancy free, just ready to go where the wind takes me. <laughs> it's a good feeling. And of course it's a good feeling when you have a beautiful blush pink companion to take with you everywhere and with the cutest little clasp. So Anyway, that's what's in my bag. It's just been a little while since we could dish on that. I know it's everyone's favorite. And I will try to link everything. I get almost everything in my life off of Amazon, but I will try to link whatever I can find for you guys if you want to redesign your own purses now that we have hopefully places to safely, responsibly go when and if we can. So I just want to leave it at that. Oh, okay. This is exciting. If you enjoy beautiful Kate Spade purses. If you enjoy purse organization and what's in my bag videos and my particular 
milk and honey style of purse organization and the types of things that I put in my purses. My favorites. Wink, wink. I'm doing like an awkward wink. If you enjoy all of those things, you definitely want to hit subscribe because we have a really, really exciting giveaway. Oh my gosh. So exciting. I'm still putting the final details on it. Um, something really fun coming up. So make sure you hit subscribe if you like those things. I mean, who doesn't? And also just if you, if you like me, <laughs> if you want to hang out with us, join us for more fun. I'm on Instagram. We have a top secret. Milk and Honey Life Club. It's through Patreon, and then we have a group, a private group on Facebook, and that's where I do book club, movie nights, Zoom hangouts. That's where I like to hang out if you want to come hang out with us. Um, what else? I have a little shop with some ebooks that will teach you all of my ways, my secrets, <laughs> um, everything I know about life, and also if you do feel so inclined to support this channel. It does mean the world to me. So those are some ways that you can get more Charlotte, more milk and honey in your life. But regardless, I will see you in the next video. And I just want to say thank you so much for saying hi and hanging out and sharing some girl talk with me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.